Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and I want to talk about this little cutie I've got in my hand. This is actually Roxy, one of our two three-toed box turtles. And box turtles are really neat animals. Now, first of all, I gotta tell you, she's hiding right now because while well, I'm holding her and she, well, you know, obviously protection in case I were a, to be a predator, she's gonna go in her shell. And that's what makes box turtles so unique is that they have the ability to actually completely close in their shell. And when I flip her over here, she's got this little line right here. It's like a door hinge that literally closes shut when she's in that shell. And look at, she's doing it right now. So she can close that so tight that you really couldn't even get a blade of grass in there. That's how tight that, that closes up. And obviously that protects from predators. And as you can imagine, it's a really good way to protect yourself from big animals when you're out in the wild. Now, out in the wild, Three-toed box turtles, they're not found here in Montana. They're found actually down south in a very narrow area near Texas and Alabama, that neck of the woods. But here's what makes box turtles so neat besides their shell. They can live a long time. Upwards of 100 years, some of them can live. In fact, there's one in Pennsylvania. It's believed to be 145 years old. Number two is that they have eyelids, unlike snakes. So you guys, you might see these guys closing their eyes a little bit when they're tired, or a lot of times when they're happy, they might put their, their head up in the sun close those eyes pretty cute to see and then number three well not particularly this one you can see she's kind of got a bland shell but there are box turtles in the u.s they're called ornate box turtles beautiful shells and so that's some way you can tell now the weird thing about box turtles they're called turtles but they're more of a terrestrial animal meaning they live on the land. So if she were to show me she, right now, she's got these big giant feet that look like elephant feet that allow her to walk on the land. They're not webbed like a turtle that would be in a pond would be. And last but not least, she's kind of poking her head out there on the front of her mouth. She's got a beak just like a bird and that's what they use to eat. These guys are what we call omnivorous, meaning they eat just about anything they come across from vegetation to bugs to believe it or not, even mice they will eat. How crazy is that? And you can see both of our box turtles in their new habitat here at the zoo. So come on out, check them out. They're pretty fun to watch and, well, I think downright cute. Guys, once again, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy with Roxy, our three-toed box turtle. <laughs>